<clears throat> hey everyone, what's up? So I'm back doing my weather videos, finally! I'm so excited, I got my brand new map, and it's pretty much the same map I had last time, just it's newer and not as, you know, torn and everything. Okay, so let's get into this week's weather. All right, so right now we have a huge storm system across the middle portions of the country, pretty much right in this general area, in the high plains, and it's been bringing a lot of heavy rain, thunderstorms, gusty winds for parts of the pretty much inner mountain west. We even had some snow reported in parts of Colorado and Wyoming over the past couple days, which is, you know, uh, getting there for, you know, the um, winter season and everything. Kind of still early um, for snow, but obviously if you live up in the mountains, you can get snow pretty much any time of the year except for like the middle of summer. So we have that to contend with, and then this whole storm system is moving kind of eastward slowly but surely and it is going to bring rounds of severe weather from parts of the lower um, portions of minnesota iowa going into missouri kansas oklahoma and texas today so if you live in any of those areas watch out for spotty damaging winds maybe some hail i just a chance of a tornado but all the the only high areas where we're, we're going to see tornadoes in are going to be in the kansas and oklahoma states not really so much everywhere else because the instability is just not there and we have a very strong upper level jet stream just moving across providing a lot of wind shear which is not going to help in the favor of producing tornadoes so tornado activity will be suppressed today but that is good this whole system is going to slowly again move eastward and uh, the ohio river valley going down to the south and even the east coast will finally see some rain out of this not a whole lot of rain um, the system is going to kind of weaken a little bit as it moves across the country, but it is going to bring in cooler temperatures behind it. It's a very, very big wrapped up system, and it is bringing a lot of the Canadian cooler air into um, the backside of the storm. So temperatures are only going to be in like the 50s and 60s after the storm pretty much crosses anywhere from the Midwest, Great Lakes going into the Northeast and parts of the Mid-Atlantic. So uh, fall weather is definitely going to be here Finally, it's been so warm for the month of September in most places, so finally we are going to see a taste of fall. It is October now, so it is that um, that time of year and the, the feeling of uh, just crisp uh, light air and everything outside. Uh, however, the west is going to actually bubble up with some extreme heat expected into the desert southwest. It could see some triple digit readings um, if you live in the desert southwest. Not so much, you know, Las Vegas and Phoenix, that would be in like the 80s and 90s, but there are a few pockets of um, places that could reach into the 100s again. And again, it is kind of unusual to see that because our average highs are pretty much in the middle to upper 80s, not so much near the century mark at, at this time for um, the fall and everything. So that's pretty much your big weather picture is going through the rest of the week. You'll see the big storm system just move east, and then after that, you'll see another shot of cooler air behind that. But even after the cool shot of air going into next week, temperatures are mostly, temperatures are going to moderate again back into the 60s and 70s. But for this time of year, we will take it because not a whole lot of other big storm systems are gonna come into the US um, for the foreseeable future over the next week or two. There will be some areas of rain, showers, and thunderstorm activity, just not as big of a system as we're seeing right now and everything so that is your big weather picture for this week and um i'm so glad to be back doing my weather reports i've loved them all the time and uh it's just so much fun to just talk about the weather yes okay so um as some people may know i don't know if you even like you know listen to me half the time but um i am going to do a new channel it's called rustic weather um i it's up right now but i haven't uploaded anything to it this video is going to be on my old Weatherman R channel where all my other kind of like blog videos are going right now. And then Rustic Weather is going to come into play hopefully over the next couple of days. And right now I'm going to be doing videos on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursday evenings for Rustic Weather. And then I'm going to do my blog videos on Weatherman R, my other channel, original channel, every Wednesday evening. So I'll put that down in the description box when I finally get Rostic Weather up and going. So if you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. Remember, you can check out more of my other videos on Weatherman R. I have Crazy Clyde's Woman's Story. Oh my God, that woman was a freaking freak show. Um, I went to Cedar Point 
and went on Millennium Forest. If any of you have been on that, that was pretty interesting to go on. And then there are also some other fun videos that I've been recently posting about over my pretty much summer vacation ordeal this past summer and everything. So you can check out those videos and you can also check out my Rostick the Weatherman uh, Facebook page and it gives you all the updates and everything on when I'm going to be doing my new weather video. So that's going to be the main source of Rostick weather and everything. So Rostick the Weatherman fan page. You can go and like that. Until next time, remember to keep your eye to the sky everyone and well, have a great rest of the week. Bye!